What is going on guys? My name is Engage Tutorials. Welcome back to another video and in this video it's a little something different. I'm going to be unboxing and demoing kind of like a little review of this modded controller here from Dynamic Essentials. So right as soon as you open up the box you will notice that it looks like a complete normal controller. The only thing that's different is that big pack of papers there by Dynamic Essentials. So like I said, if we look around the controller, you won't notice any new buttons, any uh, any new any new anything about the controller. It's all internal with this modded controller, and uh, that's what's pretty cool about it. You don't have to deal with anything new, any new buttons to get used to, or anything like that. And we also have this big pack of papers here that you can look at. It has a bunch of steps uh, regarding how to set up the controller and turn on certain mods and things like that. The first page is just syncing the controller. Then this page shows you the contents of the uh, controller, different modes, burst fire, rapid fire, uh, features access, and things like that. Uh, this next page here is the mode and uh, speed chart. Basically, it'll tell you what mode to set your rapid fire on depending on what game you're playing. It also has, once again, some more mods like Jump Shot, Jitter Fire, and things like that. Uh, this next page just it continues with the mods. You, you got Battlefield mods, you got Call of Duty Gears of War, which obviously doesn't apply on Xbox One. But, uh, you know, here you got the programming section where you can enter the programming mode and change some programming of the buttons and things like that, which I thought was pretty cool. Has the rapid fire speeds and things like that. And the last page here is the advanced feature management and just shows you an overlay of it. So let's go ahead and get into some of the mods. Now this first one here is just your standard rapid fire on a mode for the MK14 on Call of Duty Ghost. Now it's a clean steady shot, it's not going to be like the older Call of Duties where it just goes ridiculously crazy. I think it's better in this way because you know you get a clean steady shot where you can hit your enemy from across the map. And uh, here's the pistol, um, has a lot of kick. They actually have different modes for pistols and different weapons like the MK14 is like mode 1 with the sniper, mode 2 is the pistol, and mode 3 is all the other marksman rifles like this one here. So, um, it's actually very detailed, it's a very detailed modded controller, uh, and this one's pretty cool, the Rapid Fire Akimbo. And you can even have only one trigger controlling both Akimbos, which I think is really, really awesome. This next one here is actually a three burst fire mode, so if you tap the trigger, it shoots three bullets, you don't have to put the attachment on there, so it doesn't decrease any weapon stats or anything like that, you can just have your normal, uh, assault rifle or SMG at burst fire and automatic fire at the same time just hold down the trigger if you want so that's really cool this next one here is quick reload so you can program it to different guns and the gun will YY once it's finished reloading so I thought that was pretty cool it works best when the guns actually empty so I'd recommend doing it that way the next mod here I don't really use I just wanted to showcase it it's pretty much a jump shot mod when you shoot you automatically jump like you see here so um, it could be useful and it could mess you up a lot of times. I wish there was like a quick on and off button for it. It could still definitely be useful in certain situations. Now this next mod we have here is auto hold your breath, which is pretty cool actually. Right as soon as you aim down sights, it will auto hold your breath, which is pretty cool because you can't go wrong with holding your breath even if you're quick scoping. So that's pretty awesome. I'd probably enable that all the time. Uh, this next one here and the final one that I'm going to showcase is the auto run. All you have to do is press up on the stick to auto run. I don't see this one as really useful, but I just wanted to showcase it. And while I'm running around the map here, I'm going to give my final thoughts on the controller. So this controller has a ton and ton of features. And the only things that I would normally use are just the standard rapid fire. I wouldn't even mess with everything else because, you know, to me, they're, uh, they're not useful for me in this game at least. Maybe in future games. I know in Battlefield 4, I would definitely use the auto spot. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, but there is one negative side to this for me at least is I play on lefty because I'm left-handed and I've been playing like that for a long time and the controller doesn't work when you're in lefty because uh, the rapid fire is kind of messed up when you're lefty. You can turn on uh, rapid fire for the left trigger but you cannot turn off rapid fire for the right trigger. So when I aim down sights, it actually rapid fires uh, the aiming, so it goes in and out really fast, so that's not good for me. But uh, one more negative thing is that I notice that it glitches up sometimes and it aims in and out real fast like I was saying, but all you have to do is reset all the features to get rid of that. So it's not too big of a problem. And this is actually a new Xbox One modded controller. I didn't use the 360 modded controller, they have those, they've had them for a long time. So for a new Xbox One modded controller, it's actually really good. Uh, not too many glitches or anything like that. So if you guys want to pick this up, the link is in the description. And you can use a discount code. I was talking to the owner of the website. 
pretty much you can use the code engage to get a free two-year warranty with the controller so if you have any problems they will cover it uh, you have to look on their website for official coverage of the warranty but definitely guys go check them out if you want to buy one for the Xbox one I think they're worth it but that is it for this video please leave a like it would help me out tremendously and special word of the day for today is mod so put mod mod in the comments if you're still watching and I will see you guys in another video